The second round of HD Zero goggles is shipping to customers now. And if you, like me, got in on the first round, there's something you need to know before you update firmware. You see, the second round of goggles are shipping with a firmware on it that is slightly different in some key ways than the firmware that came before. And the procedure of getting you from wherever you are now onto that second round is slightly different than the firmware flashing procedure you may be familiar with. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tell which of those procedures is right for you, and we're gonna go through the process of taking my goggles through the slightly different than usual firmware flashing procedure. I'm Joshua Bardwell, you're gonna learn something today. Sometimes I joke that my job is about 75% reading the manual and then telling you what the manual says. And today is definitely gonna be one of those days because the HD Zero manual is extremely well maintained and detailed. And if you want to just read the manual, here's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't be watching this video if you just wanted to read the manual, so we're gonna go through it together. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is power up the goggles and see what firmware version is currently on your goggles. To find our current firmware version, we're gonna go into the goggles and go to firmware, and the current version will show. For me, it is 7.68.127. And what I need to do is look at the firmware version, and it'll either be in this format, which is what I have, or it'll be in this format, which I don't have. And we're gonna look for this number or this number. And we wanna know whether that number is nine or greater, in which case we would use the normal firmware update process, or whether it is less than nine, in which case we need to use the special update process. In my case, the number is seven, so I do need to use the special one-time update process. By the way, this special process is a one-time thing after I do this, I will use the normal process going forward. So I'm gonna insert an SD card into my computer and uh, I'm just gonna format that card which will erase all of the information on it. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna format it as FAT32. That's what the instructions say. If the card is bigger than 32 gig, your only option to you will be to use XFAT. Uh, I think it should work fine with XFAT on a larger card, but I'm just gonna use a 32 gig card and format it as FAT32. Then I'm gonna go to the download page for HD Zero Firmware, link in the video description below if you don't know where that is. And I'm gonna go to Firmware and download this firmware file right here. That file will appear in my Downloads folder and if I go into that zip file, I will see firmware for all of the different devices. And I want to open up the HD Zero Goggle firmware. Great. And what I wanna do is grab HD Zero Goggle, HD Zero Goggle Boot, dot bin and HD zero goggle OS dot bin. These three files, we're gonna drag them over to the root folder of the SD card. Now I won't be able to show you the goggle screen for the next step of this process because it says to unplug all cables, except power cable obviously, from the goggles. Uh, so I'm gonna insert the SD card into the goggles and here in the menu, I'll go down to firmware and choose update goggle. Now, so far, everything we're doing is as normal. The difference for this one-time firmware update is gonna come after this step completes. After that finishes, the goggles will say, update success, repower goggle now. So I'll go ahead and flip the power switch and power it back on again. At this point, the instructions say, wait for one minute, then power off. Let's just see if anything like appears on screen or what happens in the goggles while we wait for that one minute. Should I still wait for one minute? It just looks like it booted up normally. Oh, hang on. I guess we're gonna wait for one minute as instructed. Let's see what firmware version it's showing. If I go down to firmware, current version is 903. Oh, RX72 VA161. I'm gonna guess that the goggle is doing something in the background, updating some subsystem or something. I couldn't say for sure. All right, well, nothing has really changed, but it's been a minute, so we're gonna power the goggles off and power them on again. They didn't used to do that. That was like a beep. Now we're supposed to wait four minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here for four minutes looking in the screen to see if anything interesting happens. Oh, well, it doesn't usually take this long to start up, so I suppose something interesting is happening. Oh, oh. I'm gonna guess that that was the four minutes and now it's done. But I'll leave it sit for another couple of minutes just in case. 
At this point, your goggles are on the latest firmware and can be updated using the normal procedure without the like one minute, four minute wait. Uh, that wasn't that different after all. I thought it might be more complicated than that. One of the nice things about this new firmware seems to be that if you accidentally brick the goggles on the newest firmware, there's a simpler emergency update process where you can uh, unbrick them simply using an SD card without having to go through the complicated unbricking process that was before. So that's nice. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that the exact firmware that you saw me flash, 04042023, has an acknowledged bug in the analog module performance. So if you use the goggles with analog modules, you should not rush to flash that version. Uh, HD0 is working on fixing the bug and releasing a new firmware as soon as possible. And by the time you watch this, there may be a newer version out. Heck, maybe even 04042023 will get pulled. I don't know. But I would say hold off flashing 04042023 uh, unless you like absolutely need it for some reason, especially if you fly analog. I hope this video was helpful. If you value the content that I make here, please consider joining my Patreon. Patreon's a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month. It's a tiny amount to you. I, well, if it isn't a tiny amount to you, then don't do it. But I'm thinking $2 a month might be a tiny amount to you, but it really, really adds up over the number of people who do it. If I have earned $2 or more, but if I have earned that much from you, head on down to the video description. There's a link there to my Patreon. I would love to have you as a supporter. That's going to do it for this video. Happy flying.